Hi, George here with another Photoshop Elements project for beginners. Now in this Photoshop Elements project, I'll be showing you how to find the hidden or secret Photoshop Elements quick mask mode. Now this is a painting mode that allowed you to make masks where you could just paint on the image and you could see the mask as you were painting it in kind of a red overlay. There used to be a button for that over here, left-hand side below the color picker right here. That's been removed years ago, but here's how you can still access that mode. We'll first go over here and on the background layer, right click and let's duplicate this layer, choose OK. And we do that same thing again. So we have two duplicate layers, hide your background original, that's just our safety, just in case. And for this, let's hide the top layer, come down to our second layer, and we're gonna be converting this over into black and white. We'll just use a simple trick here, just converting the background to black and white, leaving the foreground subject in color, as just a demonstration of how this quick mask mode works. It can be used for other things as well, but this is a real easy one to see exactly how this is being done. Okay, let's go up here to Enhance, come down to Convert to Black and White, and then just find a nice image back here where the background is not too bright or overpowering. I'm just checking these different ones here, and I think that the scenic looks pretty good. It's kind of a basic background grayscale. Choose OK, and that's fine. It's a nice basic black and white, and we'll bring our color back in on top. Nowadays, if you wanted to do this trick, you'd make a selection around your foreground subject and use that to make a layer mask. And you can use any of your standard tools. For instance, something which is very similar to the quick mask mode is the selection brush, which allows you to brush in and make a selection like this, brushing onto your foreground image, and then use that selection to make a layer mask. So there's a few steps involved, obviously, on this and you can't really see exactly where this is gonna be placed as you're doing this, you're not really seeing the effect, but it works. That's kind of the current technique. Hit the layer mask button and you would then have your effect just like that. But I'll do the Control Z keyboard shortcut. We'll undo this, Control D to deselect that. And let me show you how you can do this using the hidden or secret Photoshop Elements quick mask mode. Now for that, we also need a layer mask, but instead of making any selections, go up here hit the layer mask button, and you get a standard pure white layer mask. Now, let's go over and grab a paintbrush. I have mine set at a pretty large size here, 300 pixels. You can see there's the brush size right there. There it is, pretty good size. And then just make any kind of mark on the layer mask. Doesn't matter what you're doing. Just a, a mark like that is all you have to do. Now, hold the Alt key down, and then click on the layer mask. This takes you inside of the layer mask. You can see just the layer mask button. There's that black spot I just made. Now that we're in here, go back over to the image layer, double click, and we're now in the secret quick mask mode. Notice how my black is now a red. And if I go back over here to the layer mask side, I can then paint and I see where the mask is being applied with that red overlay, making it very easy to see what it is that I'm doing. This is a mode that I used to use a whole lot back when it was actually easily accessible here inside of Photoshop Elements. It was one of my favorite modes to work in just because it's so easy to see where I'm applying the mask. I'll just put it a little ways out like that from our image. Paint it over and there we go. We've now taken care of this and we've done this in the quick mask mode. Now to get out of quick mask mode again and see the actual masking effect, just come down one layer, click on that and there we go. There's our fast and easy quick mask mode. Notice how nice that came in. It's a real easy mode to work with and use, and it gives you a good visual of what you're doing, what you're painting in. But again, it's a hidden mode. Let me show you where you can find that again. It's easy to get to, even with an existing layer mask, you can still get back to this. Hold the Alt key down, click on the layer mask, it takes you inside the layer mask. It's a bit I missed right down there, get that fixed, there we go. Then go over to the image side, double click, and you're now in the hidden or secret Photoshop Elements quick mask mode. And you can then see where your mask is very easily and make adjustments right here. And then simply go to a different layer to get back out of that quick mask mode. Okay, I hope you had fun with this. And if you did, take a look at my channel where I have hundreds of projects for Photoshop Elements. And if you want to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way to do that is with my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Make sure you don't forget to click on like on this video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.